perhaps contraption is a nine piece brass band that makes original music with elements of art pop, avant rock, post minimalism. We do a lot of festivals, rock venues, uh, jazz festivals, uh, a whole range of stuff. The band itself is very theatrical in the way we deliver the music and we wanted to take that up a few notches by adding movement direction, staging, lighting design, projections and create more of a show than a gig. So a seamless flowing performance that held the space and the atmosphere for the duration rather than a song and a chat and a song and a chat. We wanted to create something that was more like a theatrical performance. That was the concept that we've been toying with for years and then we heard about open space residency we got together an outline of what we were trying to do and pitched it for open space and thankfully now we're here it's been good actually i think for us in particular because there's nine of us and we're all split in different parts of the country we're not all in london now it's been really good to be able to plan something for that amount of time to make sure we've got that energy running underneath it. So it's, it's helped us rather than just preparing for the odd gig here and there. I think having an aim at this stage of the band has been really nice to, to focus on. So two years, I think is a doable, a doable aim. We'll see what happens in the next year, but it's been really helpful to have yeah, that amount of time to, to really sink your teeth into it. We're a year into it and we're in really good shape. We've got over, we've got well over an hour and a half's worth of new music. We are about to do the first showing of the work in an amazing derelict building where for the first time we will have sound design, staging, and we've been working with an amazing movement director, Lucy Ridley, who's helped sculpt some of the visual language for the show. And so, we're going to have our first test run of the concept uh, at the Festival of New. The movement is the main thing to kind of really work on. We have three songs with actual sort of choreography. I say choreography loosely because it is choreographed, but we're not going to look like jazz dancers. <laughs> um, so I think, yeah, I think we're nearly, we've, we've done, we're at the right stage for where we want it to be now, which is a really, nice, really good thing. I think we have developed a sound, but especially the ones that were written all here. The details are definitely we've drilled down more on, started thinking about movement and then how that relates to composition. And so we might even change to the song based on how we're moving. Just because we've had the time to, to think about orchestration more and really explore ideas and ditch them, we have created a, a more rounded sound think that we could place to our time here. The band has been, for all of its existence, has been DIY, um, very hardworking, very prolific, doing a lot of shows, but essentially uh, driven by its members, we've never had industry help before. So to have an institution like Snake Maltings um, offer us support has been, just made the world a difference. We've never had resources or a network of arts professionals around us who are dedicated to supporting our idea. It's amazing being out here in the beautiful countryside and all the different spaces that Snape has to offer um, to create in because even we were rehearsing in London and recently and it felt totally different being in that space. Whereas here everyone's ready to be open-minded and to experiment with their creativity and it feels like the attitudes we all have are merging a lot better um, just by having that space 
to solely think about this, uh, this project. Oh, hand in hand we go.